Nothing beats an early morning duck hunt. So, let's go duck hunting. Blind, let's talk exactly the game plan here. We've got Eurasian teal decoys and tough to duck decoys up like crazy. And they keep landing back here or over there. I did quite a bit of test run on this to see how this setup would work. And you can see I have two tents. I saw Kill Clinton did this and you can get just about all five duck species here. So we're only focusing on the two for now, but you set a tank here and a tank here. That way you can fast travel if you kill one on this shoreline or this shoreline. And then you can get into your blind that's right here where I'm at from either side. I can get into from there or from there. Works out great. It's not totally realistic, but it's good enough. And I just want to spend some time getting some ducks. I haven't done a full on duck hunt since probably Revan Tuli came out. And it'd be nice to get a special duck, a diamond or a rare. That's a golden eye. That's diamond potential, a little golden eye. But here they come, they're landing in. So let's go ahead and take out a couple. Oh, got that shot off. And I think that's gonna be all we get. But here's how you can see how this setup works. We get out of our blind and we're on this side, but we got our ducks over there. So if we just fast travel over to that tent, I don't have to be running around wasting time. We can just stay focused on getting all these ducks, which is pretty slick. I like this setup. This is a female tough to duck brown, 797.25. Another one female, 742 brown. And we smoked that guy as he's flying away right over here and it was a female as well 716 brown and guys we have a special guest today as you can see my pup's out i haven't had mr ruger here out in a while you could tell he's real excited running around in circles he he forgot how to hunt he's just all over in the water he's gonna be spooking a lot of animals but just in case we knock one and can't find it we'll uh hopefully be able to use him but I also brought them because I hope here soon we get a retriever. Since they brought in so many waterfowl and upland birds, it'd be nice to be able to have a dog that is a retriever. And we could use that dog to get our birds and not have to leave our blinds. I would think that's, that'd be a huge W. So hopefully this year we'll get that. Here we go. Coming in hot. Smoke him as he drops. Oh, come on. How are those not hitting? Oh, I swear. I I think I got gypped on that. That should have been a hit. But we only got one here. So, let's see what he scored. Here he is. First black gold. <gasps> Tub to duck mail. That was weird to say. 866.73. Good looking tough to duck. Got him as he came down. I think on them we need 900. Yeah, 963 for a diamond. So he was a ways off, but still scored. So there's that. Really waiting on these teals to come in and land. They are circling. We have some. The teals seem to keep landing way out there. I'm not sure why. We definitely have some guys here. And there's our teals landing in the back there. There was a male I was wanting to go after. That might be him, actually. Let's see. Oof, missed that shot. Got that one. Oh, there we go. Best one yet. Four. Four down. There we go. That's what we like to see, man. That was fun. That was quick. You have to be really quick to get these guys, which makes it fun. All right, well, I guess we'll start here with this golden eye. Let's see, a female, 788. Seem to be getting, I think I said golden eye. Tough to duck, 
seem to get, be getting a lot of female tufted ducks. Here's a teal, and it was a female 320, but that's why I'm going after them. They just look so beautiful. That green on the wings right there, just awesome. And I know we have the green wing too that we can go after. So maybe we should be going after both teals? I don't know. Well, well, we're going after these guys. And I think our other two are in the water, just about to get to our layout blind, which is perfect. We'll get into the layout blind and pick them up. Firm one trophy, female, tough to duck, 761. And should have one more. A male, there we go. Hey, 857 on that male. That's pretty good. Love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. Level three. Oh my gosh. Guaranteed diamond. Guaranteed diamond tough to duck. Oh, let's go, guys. I've just been killing like crazy. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. What? Got him. Wow. Almost messed that up. Oh. I almost messed that up. All right. Um, I think he's over there. Yeah, he's over there. Um, don't think he's in the water, so we're going to have to go out and get him. I think that's him there. Is that him there? Or is that a different one? I'm not sure. Let's, let's go find out. Let's go get this guy. Oh, man. I can't believe I almost messed that up. I wanted to hit him before he landed because... I wanted to be able to feel kind of realistic taking them. I'm not overly particular about doing it that way, but I figured, why not? And we almost messed that up. That is him. Okay. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Diamond. Let's go. 976. Hit the bottom of his estimate. But that is a diamond tough to duck. First diamond duck since my golden eye and it's tough to duck kind of has a golden eye on him that's awesome right on now we're gonna taxi this guy snap a couple photos and then you guys just enjoy enjoy me shooting a bunch of ducks and i'll meet you if we kill anything good like this sun setting i want to do one last bird now it's not a duck but we're gonna have to travel up north to try and get it i hope you guys enjoyed that little just collage and not much talking just a whole lot of shooting and duck taking but we'll talk as we go after this next bird and well that bird that's the tundra bean goose we actually have a level four and i don't really like that actually calm down quite a bit it were alert when we came over so hopefully we can get this guy. We might be using the 22. Because they're going attentive again. Yeah, I'm just not in a good... I'm not in my blind yet. So they could go attentive and I could lose it. I mean, they always come back. But it would be nice to just guarantee. I think we've only killed one or two level fours. So I'd really like to get a Tundra Bean Goose, then a Grey Lug. We had the can Canadian goose, so we're just trying to get ourselves some diamonds we don't have at the start of the year. 
And these guys are just flying slow, slow. I should be able to pop this guy with the 22. Oh wait, they're coming in. I'll be able to do this. Or not, or not. Or, there we go, there was one hit. Okay, going down, but I'm gonna try with the 22 just so we can get it down and not have to worry about losing it. Eh, it's gonna go down, it's coming back this way. Let's see if we can't, it's dead. Jeez. Well, that didn't go like I wanted it to. I was hoping we could get to the layout blind before the geese showed up. And that just obviously didn't happen. And then, of course, we struggled to get this guy. But we got him. Now I just got to find out where he died at. I think he's over there. And that he is. We've got our level four down. I think they need to go two to three because I want to say three score. 2.85. 3.16 is diamond, so this wasn't a diamond potential. Kind of what I thought, but they are cool looking birds. I really like the tundra bean goose. Just cool. Very cool looking. Look at that. That's a cool rotation. Anyways. Oh, there we go. That's a two to three level four. That's a very good sign. Okay. This is diamond potential. Level four. Where'd he go? He's in this herd, or in this flock. Mixed up in them. Lost them. Somewhere in this flock. Somewhere in this flock is that level four. Right there? There it is. Okay, we just gotta keep an eye on him. Try to get him with the 12 gauge. 10 gauge might be better actually, seeing that it's a goose. Might go 10 gauge. He's coming in. Here he comes. Oh, at a distance too. And landed right where I can't shoot. Of course. I'm uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. There he is, he came back. Okay. Now he just needs to land in a spot where I can actually shoot him. Or come in where we can have a good shot out of him. I didn't even see him take off the last time. Which is odd, but I was distracted. Let's see if this guy will come down close enough that we can use the 10 gauge, hopefully. I'm having a really hard time with the 22. Before they changed how these things flew, it was so easy to take geese with 22. Now, now you gotta be creative and use the shotgun. All right, he's coming down it, but he's attentive already, so. Come on, that had to hit. There we go. I hope we didn't hit him too many, too many times. I accidentally pick up one of my geese. I need to move him. Remove my layout blind. Hopefully we only hit him once. Hopefully. Or twice. I guess. Let's see. Gold. 2.9. Not quite. Not quite. We need... We did only hit him once. Unfortunate. But... Up there is a gold tundra bean goose. Trying. We're trying to get him. One day we'll get a diamond. With that, guys, we're going to wrap it up. This one was a unique one. We don't usually do hunts like this, but I really was wanting to do a duck hunt and figured it's a lot more fun just to watch me take a bunch of ducks instead of talk with each flock that comes in. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. I'm trying to change it up, keep things interesting, kind of do more unique hunts versus just going out on the multiplayer hunts chasing diamonds and rares so like i said if you liked it be sure to comment below and i'll respond and then of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button because then you get notified when new videos drop and you can keep watching me because you know it's worth it and you can be part of the full sin squad and then if you want to check out the merch check out the memberships we're going to be starting out uh, with some giveaways eventually here soon inside memberships. So if you become a channel channel member, you'll have access to those giveaways. And then last but not least, go enjoy a good home with good friend. I'll catch you in the next one.